body? Yes. Oh my god, that was tough. Do you think you passed? I don't know. I guess we'll find out in a couple weeks. Ugh. Okay, let's do a shot, right? Uh, I think I'll have a beer. Seriously? Yes, why? Boring. I heard Kevin's coming. Oh yeah. He's hot and he likes you. What more do you want? Plus, you're not getting any younger. Ouch. I'm oh, sorry, hold on one second. Hey, Mom? Mom? Mom, I can't talk to you if you're not gonna say anything. Are you okay? What's going on? I got a call about Haley. What is it now? Can you come home? Mom, I can't come right now. <laughs> Can I come by first thing tomorrow? Okay. I'll come by tomorrow, okay? Mom, seriously, you cannot get yourself worked up like this. A friend of Haley's called from Texas, um, a Jenny something. I guess they work together at a bar in Laredo. She thinks something bad might have happened. Mom, how many times have we been through this before with it's Haley? It's different this time, Abby. 
I mean it, even when she's off getting high, she always checks in. I, I get phone calls in the middle of the night. You know what it's like? I haven't heard from her in three weeks. Not a peep. I, I've, I've left messages and emails, nothing back. Well, that is unusual, but... Yeah, now with her friend calling, I know something's happened. <laughs> I'm sure everything is okay. <laughs> If your father were alive, he'd have been out there weeks ago. I know things aren't good between the two of you, but Abby, she's your sister, your blood. She needs your help. I need your help. I'll look into it, okay? Thank you. Uh, how, how was the exam? It was fine. Tim, it's Abby. Uh, it's been a while. Actually headed out to Texas. Let's catch up. Haley, Abby, like the fifth time, call me back. There, Mira. Nothing to it. A few suitors, and we're done. Preguntas? No, doctor. Good. Are you ready to give it a try? Sí. Paco. No lo encontramos. The body. Go out there and find that little punk. Plastic surgery? I'll have it back to you in no time. Oh, I, I don't know. 
You, you know I've been doing good? You know, staying clean? Yeah, I know. So this is just gonna help me get ahead, you know? <sighs> I swear, I will have it back to you before you know it's gone. Haley, that's not the point. You don't need that stuff. You don't. Hi. What's going on? Nothing. Mom? Haley, there's no more money. We talked about this. It's different this time, Abby, but I'll... Yeah, I know it's different, and the answer's still no. It's not your money. This has nothing to do with you. This has nothing to do with me? I, I am trying to do something good here. Save it, Haley. Don't you think that you have done enough damage to this family? Abby. Mom, it's got to stop. You have done way more damage than I have. Miss High and Mighty, too good for your own father. You broke his heart when you dropped out. How dare you? Yeah, the truth hurts, doesn't it? At least I didn't snort my family's savings up my nose. That's enough, girls. Unbelievable. We have carried you for so many years. It ends now. Choke on it. We're done. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> We're done, Haley. Don't come back here asking for handouts. Haley. I'm Haley's sister. And you? Building manager. Where's Haley? Uh, I'm not sure. Have you seen her around? I'm not her keeper. Not short on charm, either. Is there anything that I can do for you? Rent's due in a few days. Oh. Until then. Sisters here. Deputy Corbin, please. So, cryptic message out of the blue. It's not really your style. Yeah. Can I get you a minute? 
unexpected trip. How about for you, hon? Uh, I'm okay. Just coffee, please. What brings you to Laredo? I am looking for my sister. Your sister? Remember Haley? Sure. She lives here now. Yeah, for, uh, I guess, like, last year. Things seem to be going okay. She's working at some place called Ray's, keeping her nose clean. Thank you. The strip club. There's only one Ray's in town. Oh, wow. Well, uh... Yeah, I guess that would explain the wigs and the clothes. <laughs> oh, Haley. And she's missing. I'm not sure. Something's not right, you know? I just have that feeling. That's what would have made you a good cop. Nah, it's in your blood. You were one of the tough ones coming out of the academy until you bailed. So what are you doing instead? Um, I just took the bar exam. It's close enough, I guess. So you need my help? Maybe. I'm gonna poke around a little bit, see if I can come up with anything. You should file a missing persons. Yeah, I, I don't know that she's missing, you know? It'll get a picture out there. It couldn't hurt. Thanks, Tim. Us blue dogs have to stick together. A girl who works here named Haley Morgan? There are a lot of girls who work here. Right. Well, maybe this will help. Yeah, Haley. Right. I'm looking for her. And you are? I'm her sister. Okay. Yeah, I can see it now. So. Is she around? No, she doesn't work here anymore. Oh. When's the last time you saw her? I couldn't really say. Take a guess. Maybe a month. Maybe longer. Um, do you mind if I talk to some of the girls? You a cop? <laughs> no. Unless you plan on buying a drink, you might want to go ahead and get out of here. Okay. Thanks for your time. Hey, Mom. So? I just got into town today. 
I'm at Haley's place now. She's not there? No, but that doesn't mean much. Don't get upset, Mom. We don't know anything yet. I'll call you tomorrow with an update, okay? Okay. Love you. You too, hon. We set four hips, lips, and cheekbones. I want to look like a young Diana Ross. You have something for me? Ticket. Bus leaves at 8 a.m. Be on it. Well, give me a second, will you, sweetheart? Well, the situation with the Adam boy, Paco. What? He panicked and disappeared. The body? The body is not where it should be. Listen, Victor. We cannot be connected. 
Do you understand? Don't worry about it. I will take care of it. We cannot be connected. I said I will take care of it. Victor. Victor. Pinche cabrón. One for the road. So is Bella a done deal? Your cut is the least of your worries. We have a situation. Hello? as well. Great. Have you heard of a local reporter named Michael O'Hare? Eh, he's a bit of a quack, but he makes for a good read. Do you know anything about the, um, the border clinics that he's been writing about? Oh, uh, yeah. Unfortunately, I do. You know, it's the curse of a border town. Is that something that you guys focus on? No, not really. You know, it's not a priority. I found this envelope at Haley's apartment. I guess she was gathering some information. It was a brochure on plastic surgery with names and costs and... Hmm. It's interesting. Be perfectly honest with you. We have our hands full with guns going out and drugs coming in. Yeah, of course. You bring the package by and I'll see if I can help. Sure. Okay, sign here. All right, let me process this. You know, I would love to find that O'Hare guy. Seriously? All right, well, he's always moving around, but he filed a few death threats, so we have the addresses. You did not get this from me. Al, can you pull Michael O'Hare's addresses and give them to Abby? Thanks. 
You keep checking in. Yeah, will do. Excuse me. Hey. Wait. Stay back! Are you Michael O'Hare? Ah, another step! I mean it. I'll use it. Who do you work for? I don't work for anybody. My name. I saw you at the apartment and meeting with the deputy. You've been following me? Damn straight. Look, I'm not sitting on the apartment, okay? I'm staying there. I'm Abby Morgan. I'm Haley's older sister. Can we put the mini mace away now, please? Is it the death threats that have you living like transient? No, I've been getting death threats ever since my first expose on border clinics a couple years ago. That just fuels my writing when they actually follow through with those death threats that's got me spooked. Seriously? Yeah, last year a couple scary looking Mexican guys came by my place and roughed me up a bit. Made it very clear that I was to stop. So did you stop? I did for a bit. But I was getting anonymous letters from people who'd been hurt and cheated. So how does my sister fit into all of this? I'd been going to the club looking for an insider. She had heard about a couple of the girls going to Mexico to get really cheap surgery. She was thinking about doing the same thing. So what, you sent her undercover? No. We had only talked a couple times. She just seemed sympathetic to the stories that I was telling her. Did you bring the letters? Sure you're down for this? Yeah. Since she was already exploring surgical options, I simply asked her to pass on information. Right. This is for you. She'd come through. When's the last time you saw her? I'd say about a month ago now. I leave tomorrow. How are you feeling? A bit nervous, but I'm sure that's normal. <laughs> Everything I've gathered so far is in an envelope at my place. Got my blue card today. Blue card? Yeah. It's the key to getting on the bus and over the border. When I get back, I should have everything you need. If anything should go wrong. It won't. You'll be fine. So, were you two... No. Like I said, we only talked a couple times. And you haven't talked to her since? No. Waited about a week or so. Figured she needed time to recover. I went looking for her at the club. Watched her place. And nothing. So she may have never come back from Mexico. I've been waiting for the right moment to look for that envelope, but they've been sitting on her place. 
Wretched landlady. Figured there's gotta be something in there that might be a clue. My sister is a bit of a scatterbrain. This is good. Why, does anything look familiar? This clinic I called a couple times and just got the machine. I've never been able to zone in on who's involved from the medical community on this end. There's some important names here. Dr. Sparks, wow. Do you know him? I know of him. Looks like he did the consult. I can't wait to break this thing wide open. Look, this may all be Pulitzer material for you. All I want to do is find my sister. Yeah. There's somewhere I want to take you. I don't have time to mess around. I like your sister. She was really kind and open with me. Look, you don't have to do this alone. I know the town and its people. I can help. Okay. Hi, Michael. Hi, Jean. This is Abby Morgan. Hi. Hi. Please come in. Thank you. What can I do for you? My sister's missing. I'm sorry to hear that. I have a picture. It's very pretty. Thank you. She went across the border to one of these clinics, but, um, she hasn't come back. How awful. Haley was collecting information for me when she disappeared. Information? About the process. We believe Dr. Sparks is involved. Was he your doctor as well? Jean, I brought Abby here so you could share your story with her. Hoping that maybe you could lead us in the right direction. This is not something that I'm comfortable talking about. I understand that. Please. My surgery in Mexico was one of the biggest mistakes of my life. What happened? When my husband, Bert, passed away, I, I really didn't think I would be interested in another, you know, man. But dating and he'd been gone four years and I was 50, so I thought maybe some cosmetic work, you know, enhancements might make me more desirable. I remember going home in a taxi and I was very sick and in a lot of pain. I uh, had strep infection, but I was too ashamed to tell my physician. One morning, I, I just, I felt like my heart was gonna explode, so I called an ambulance. The doctor said I was very lucky to survive because my liver and my kidneys, uh, they were failing, and I had, I had gone into toxic shock. I didn't tell you this, Michael, but, well, because I was warned not to, but I had a visitor one afternoon. He was a very frightening character. He said I was not to tell anybody what had happened, and that would be what was best for everybody. Was Dr. Sparks your consulting physician? But he didn't perform the procedure. Was it a Mexican physician? Nothing was like it was supposed to be. The clinic, the doctors, it was all so scary. Jean, you don't have to. No, I'm not afraid anymore.
Those weren't real surgeons. Real surgeons wouldn't do this. No, I want them to pay for what they did to me. Why'd you take me there? I had a feeling she might open up to you with your sister and all. I have to go to that clinic. The Villa Majestic? Yeah. I don't think that's a good idea. If that's where my sister went, then that's where I'm going. Americans disappear in Mexico all the time. It's dangerous. You don't have to come. Come on. I don't care if it's dangerous. I need to find her. Thank you. Okay? Yeah, I think so. Should I call an ambulance? No. No, I'm okay. Did you get his plates? No. You've been here two days and they're already gunning for you. I... Maybe I should follow you home. I'm okay. Are you sure? Seven a.m. Hey, you. Tim? Haley's apartment was ransacked. Really? I just got back. The door was open, and the whole place is a wreck. Oh my god, someone's still here. Abby, get out of there. Please hurry. Abby! Abby? Abby! Jenny, Haley's friend. Why are you trashing the place? I didn't. I, I live across the hall. I came over after they left. Who's they? Some guys from the club. What club? Ray's? Yeah. How do I know that you didn't let them in? It was Irina, the landlord. I'm worried about Haley, too. I'm the one who called your mother. Please. The knife down. You're the one who's been looking through the blinds? I've been wanting to talk to you. Why haven't you? It's hard. They've got eyes everywhere. And Haley isn't the first girl who's gone missing. Then why wouldn't you stop her? She was determined to go through with it. And most girls come back and, and they work off the surgery in a couple of months. What do you mean they work it off? Well, if you can't afford it, Ray will spot you, but you gotta work it off. Have you talked to her since she's been gone? No. She said if anything went wrong, that I should call home. She gave me your mother's number. She said you'd come looking for her. 
She always talked about her big sister. Abby this and Abby that. Shoot, I feel like I know you. You're prettier than your pictures. I'm sorry. So, what's your next move? I don't know. Look, I've been a raise a long time. If you need to know how things work there. Yeah, maybe. I might. John, do you want some help? Down on the ground! Okay. It's okay. She's a friend. Is everything all right? Yeah. We're all right. Um, just the place is a mess. Is there anything missing? I think I had what they were looking for. I'm sorry to have you rush down here like that. It's okay. I'll file a report. It was a couple of guys from Ray's. Right? Jenny? Yeah. It was. Did they have a key? No, apparently the landlady let them in. I'll talk to her. Thank you. Need help? No. We got this. OK. Talk to you later. Sorry. You gotta be more careful. You can be replaced. Right. So, did you find anything? No. Trash the place. There was nothing there. Is the sister backing off? Hopefully, she got the hand. Handle it. I will. Otherwise, all of this goes away. I got it. The cops. It's covered. I'll check in with you later, OK? You have a right to be worried. I love you, too. Bye. Hey. Hey. <sighs> you look tired. You really know what to say to a lady. Sorry. A couple of guys from the strip club tossed Haley's apartment. What? Are you okay? Yeah, Tim's gonna take care of it. The deputy? Stop being so paranoid. How'd you know it was guys from Ray's? Jenny, one of the dancers who lives across the hall. All right, you ready for this? Yep. Let's go. You okay? Yeah, I just hate going through checkpoints. We'll be fine. <sighs> Officer? No.
Is this the right street? Yeah, according to the map. Maybe it's just back further on the property. make any sense. Maybe we took down the wrong address. No, this is the place. I mean, it should be right here. Unless it doesn't really exist. Why would they... Think about it. So what? She could just be anywhere right now? How are we supposed to find her? slipping away. Don't say that. Come on, you really think that she just forgot to call? I mean... Something happened. Either she died on the table or... I don't know, maybe they found out that she was feeding you information. No, oh, there are other possibilities. Like what? I don't know. But you can't give up hope. Great. How do they even know that we're out here? This is private property. What are you doing out here? Do you want me to ask you in Spanish? No. Sorry, we were just looking around. It's a beautiful landscape. You're going to have to come with us. Try to know. Get your hands off me. Michael. Just give him your keys. You gotta stop. I don't think you understand the gravity of the situation. Could you just put a call in to Deputy Tim Corbin in Laredo? He will be able to clear all of this up. Get into the car. I'm sorry, is this really necessary? We didn't break any laws. Trespassing and resisting arrest. Passports and cell phones, please. No way. We can take them from you if you like. Can I make a phone call, please? A phone call? <laughs> you are not in the United States anymore. This is bad. They can't keep us in here. You still don't get it, do you? They're all in on it. They can do whatever they want with us. Come on, Michael, not now. Think about it. How did they find us so quickly? Releasing you to my custody. Thank you. He 
You too, Michael. You got lucky this time. Don't come back here. You at least find what you were looking for? No. There was nothing there. What do you mean there was nothing there? It's just land. There's no building, no clinic, nothing. Well, where do they bring the girls? I don't know. It's just another dead end. I can't pull that favor again. All right, follow me back. If I can bring you across the border. Okay. What do we do now? I don't know. Maybe Jean will come forward. Maybe we can get her to press charges. That's gonna take too long. Jenny. Hi. Come on in. Hi, thanks. Jenny, Michael, he's uh, helping me find Haley. It's all right. We can trust him. Yeah, I've seen you around the club. Yeah, I'm a reporter. Did you find the clinic? No, the address we had was a cover. There was nothing there. So what's next? I'm trying to figure that out. Maybe I could ask around the club. Can you do that without drawing too much attention? Club. Plastic surgery, Dr. Sparks. I'm not following. I'll go in and get a consultation. For what? It doesn't matter. Boobs, hips, thighs, whatever. Uh, that sounds great and all, Abby, but they know who you are. They'll see that coming a mile away. There has to be some way. Or. What? You could inquire. We just need that blue card. Exactly. Oh, wait a minute, guys. What are you talking about? Take a seat. Okay. Tonight at work, just do your regular thing. Right? Hmm. I'd better. What's up, honey? I'm looking to make some improvements. A little talk, if you know what I mean. Are you serious? I ain't getting any younger. You still look good to me, baby. Can you set it up? Consider it done. You're a doll? Talk. A little bit off the sides. You made arrangements with Ray. Yeah. It's covered. Okay. Well, then I will make sure that they take extra special care of you. <laughs> Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. Be careful. Yeah, Michael's gonna follow the bus. Leaves at 8 a.m. sharp. Okay. You should get out of town for a while. No. You're gonna need these. Gotta play the part. Find her, okay? One way 
way or another. Just find her. Everything's gonna be okay. We will find her. Thank you. You don't have to thank me. Your help means a lot to me. Please make sure that Deputy Corbin gets this. Thank you. Not too late to change your mind. Just don't lose the bus. Officer. Can you please pull over? Is there a problem? Why do I have to pull over? No. Morning, Al. I didn't think you'd be in.
Tim. When you get this, I'll hopefully be in Mexico at the clinic my sister went to. You'll find everything you need in here to start a case file. I didn't tell you, because I knew you'd try to stop me. After I find my sister, Michael and I will make our way back across the border with the rest of the info you'll need to put these people away. Gotta go. What's going on? Jenny sold us out. Now I will explain on the way. Clean this up. Hello everyone, follow me and I'll take you in. You can wait in here until we call your name. Dígame. They just arrived. She'd be on the bus. Okay. Claro que sí. Claro.
Hands up! Arrestalo. Keep your hands where I can see them. This is not necessary. I'm looking for my friend. Hey, what the hell? I thought I'd tell you not to come back here. I'm searching for my friend. She's out here somewhere. Can you at least help me out? Bathroom? They're in the room with Paco for now. Sheriff, if you're not in on it, then please help us. This is happening all over the place. You've got to know about it. Of course I know about it.
So? Kill the Bien. We have her locked up. Perfect. Then we will wait. I'm not happy about this, Dr. Martinez. No problem with noise, Daiki. You have a problem of noise. Well, then maybe we should take our business somewhere else if you can't handle it. Who else has this? I don't know. But she's been working with that reporter, Michael. Is there enough to make a case here? Not quite yet. There's no proof of murder or illegal medical practices. If she disappears, it all goes away. So what are we waiting for? I want to find a new place. Find me a new place. Calm down. This is fine. Can we take her around back and get this done, please? <laughs> what are we waiting for? I got caught up. Come on, take it easy. So, that was all of them? Yes. And the doctor and the nurses are in on it. Raúl, lleva estos camiones. Wait. Can you translate something for me? Yes. Did this woman come through here? Quieres saber si la reconoces a esa mujer? Do you recognize this woman? Quieres saber si la reconoces a esa mujer? 
did this woman come through here? Ha pasado por aquí. Please. Sí o no. She was my sister. Era la hermana de ella. ¿Qué? Yes. ¿Tú qué sabes? You recognize her? Estuvo como paciente aquí, pero murió. En la mesa de operaciones. He said that, uh, that she was a patient here and that she died on the table. I, I, I can show you to the body. What? I can show you to the body. You can? Yes, please. Guillermo will take you. Thank you. if you want. Where's the body? Mom, I'm bringing her home. 